YouTube, uh, this is Vargas, and I am back again with my bi-weekly DVD haul from Movie Freak Bazaar. Uh, this is uh, the DVDs and two soundtracks that I picked up uh, with Movie Freak Online these uh, last two weeks. So let's get started with some CDs. Uh, I've mentioned this numerous times, I am a big fan of Japanese culture. Uh, I just love it. I it, my Lifelong dream is to actually visit Japan, but uh, now it would be really hard, you know, being married with two kids, and also because it's really expensive to visit Japan, and the plane ride alone is like I think maybe 19 hours. It would be stressful as hell, so <laughs> maybe I'll never get to fulfill that dream. We'll never say never, but yeah, with the current events, it might be a little hard. But I love Japanese culture, I love Japanese movies, uh, even though I don't understand what they say, I, I read subtitles, and I love anime. Uh, Robotech, uh, Messenger C, uh, Knights of the Zodiac, uh, Sailor Moon, all a whole bunch of anime. I just love the animation, and the characters, and the art style. So, uh, I collect a lot of anime, and I also collect uh, soundtracks for anime, and these are two... Japanese uh, soundtracks because they are completely written in Japanese. These are not uh, American uh, release soundtracks. Uh, so I don't know how Movie Freak got them, but I got bought them off of him. And this is for Notes of School D Idol Days, Curtain Call. I've never seen this anime. It seems like uh, an anime with uh, uh, old school dancing, uh, old school singing school uh, but it has 34 tracks and uh, I just love you know trying to decipher what the hell the the kanji uh, might translate to and the other one I got I do know about this one because I read the manga in Sonin Jump back when way back when they would actually publish it and that's uh, Jintama the best of Jintama and this is an anime where aliens uh, landed years ago in feudal Japan so you have this really interesting culture cla culture crash with aliens and samurais and stuff I don't like how the covers are reverse of the other so uh, I haven't seen the anime I, I, I've only read the manga so I'm hoping this is pretty cool uh, on to the movies I've sort of accidentally started a Jack Ryan collection Jack Ryan is a character in Tom Clancy's uh, in a series of books by John, John Tom Clancy, and uh, the Jack Ryan character first really first appeared in uh, The Hunt for Red October, and I think he was played by Alec Baldwin, and then he was played by Harrison Ford in two movies, Clear and Present Danger, and uh, Patriot Games, and then, to my knowledge, he was played by Ben Affleck in The Sum of All Fears. He plays Jack Ryan. <clears throat> and there's a newer one uh, where he's played by Chris Pine and it stars uh, Kevin Costner. So that's the one I want to track down to complete my Jack Ryan collection. But I needed this one and now I got it. This one I picked up because one, I found it in widescreen and I usually only see it in full screen. And two, because it's a adaptation of a movie that I found a couple of weeks or months ago. Uh, it was a John Wayne movie where a couple of brothers search, uh, try to look for revenge for the murder of their mom. And this is the same plot for brothers. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, the guy from The Fast and the Furious, and two others uh, try to take revenge on the murder of their adoptive mother. So, you know, I finally found the widescreen version. And it's an adaptation of a western that I picked up. So, that's how my messed up brain works rationalizes buying some movies sometimes. This one I have also been tracking down for a while but again always find the full screen very well I have never come across the uh, the widescreen and it's a movie I saw once I think on TV and I thought it was it got a couple of chuckles out of me <coughs> but mostly because of Christopher Walken and that's Balls of Fury. This is a, like uh, how can I describe it? Well like, like the best way I can describe it, it's like Mortal Kombat, but instead of uh, fighting, it's ping pong. It's a game to the death with uh, ping pong. Ping pong. With this guy, Christopher Walken. 
And, uh, I don't know, I, I got a couple of chuckles. And again, I've always seen the full screen. And I usually, if, if it's a movie that I've been trying to track down for a while, and I see it in full screen, I'll buy it. But for Balls of Fear, I, I really wanted to just wait for the widescreen, and I finally found a copy, so cool. Another one really, really lucky that I found the widescreen of is The Core. Uh, this is a disaster movie where the government, of course, creates a, a covert a machine that controls stuff and it haywires. So this group of people have to dig into the Earth's core to try to save the Earth. Uh, but it has Stanley Tucci in this, so... Yeah, and Aaron Eckhart, uh, Two-Face. So, cool. This one I picked up because I finally found the Collector series, a widescreen of this. Uh, if you're a collector and you like Miramax releases, always try to get the Collector series, the Miramax Collector series. Uh, it, I don't have a, a, a normal version of this, but it's it's the, almost the same movie, but it doesn't have this golden thing on top. And if you're a collector and like special features, definitely get this, because it has more special features than the regular release. The best ones of this type of Miramax Collector series releases that I've seen are The Crow, and from dusk till dawn, uh, those took me a good long while to actually get, uh, but they, it, it's worth it because they have a whole bunch of special features. And then for the dusk till dawn one, it has a, a like an hour long documentary. So, you know, if if you're a collector like Miramax releases, uh, try to always get the collector series. Just a tip from me to you. Uh, finally, found a widescreen release. Uh, really lucky to find widescreen releases. Of a movie that uh, I wanted to get. Because I've always seen the remake. And I don't much care for the remake. But it's the original Bad News Bears. With uh, the guy from Dennis the Menace. And grumpy old man. Uh, Walter Matthau. Uh, it's about this grumpy old guy. That has to train a baseball uh, team of kids. With hilarious results. And uh, yeah. Um, I'm in this kick for 70's movies. And uh, movies from the 70s, that sounds better, and this came out in 1976, so, cool. Uh, pick this one up because I don't remember if, if I saw a midnight uh, screening video on this. Uh, I, I I heard somewhere that this was really good, and Movie Freak Bizarre had a copy, and I was like, well, I'm, I'll give this one a shot, because I really like Kevin Bacon, and it's The, Woodman, the Woodsman, uh, and Kevin Bacon plays this... Um, a uh, released child molester that is dealing with, you know, what he is, the monster that he is, because child molesters are monsters, in my opinion. They're, like, they're, they're terrible people. Um, I'm, I'm, that's my opinion. But he's starting to realize that what he does, or has done, is really, really messed up. And, uh, yeah, just, just like Kevin Bacon, and I, I, this sounds like an interesting movie, but it's, Probably a movie that I'm going to see once and never see again. Uh, pick up, because I found it in widescreen, the widescreen version of Vanilla Sky, which is a remake of a Spanish movie, I think. Uh, but it, it stars the same actress, uh, what's her face? Uh, Penelope Cruz. So that's kind of weird, because Penelope Cruz is in the original one, and she's also in the American remake. And I, I don't, I haven't seen the original one, so I don't have a point of reference. All I know is that a lot of people complain that they, they, of course, Americanized this a bit too much. And they altered the ending. Um, so, I don't know. I have seen this one. I, I have seen this one. And, yeah, this it, it's one of those artsy, trippy movies. But uh, it's well acted and it's the widescreen version. And I've been trying to get widescreen versions because full screen versions look so weird on a widescreen uh, flat uh, TV. Uh, pick this one up, because uh, I, I thought it was, I, I actually got fooled, my, I, I fooled myself thinking that it's a Quentin Tarantino thing, but it's not. It's one of those, it's like hostile Quentin Tarantino presents Hell Ride. But uh, really in the back it looks like it's a throwback to uh, old biker gang movies. So that alone might be really, really cool. And it has a slip cover. Really weird slip cover. Old slip covers are cardboard, but this one's like... Like, really cardboard doesn't have the glossy look that other uh, slipcovers have. But I like the artwork. I thought the artwork was, was really cool. It's the same worker, 
artwork on the inside, but I, I like this cartoonish kind of artwork, so that's cool. Uh, I already own this movie, but uh, I've mentioned this before, I am notorious for double dipping when I find a two-disc version or an anniversary uh, edition or something that has special, more special features than the original release that I have. And this is the two-disc collector's anniversary edition of Backdraft with a nice uh, metal-looking slipcase. I know a lot of collectors don't much care for slipcases because they take an extra bit of space. Uh, and really, it's just a piece of cardboard, but it, it does make it look a little bit more special, in my opinion. Uh, if, if I find, come across a movie that's supposed to have a slipcase and it doesn't, it's fine. But if I can get it with slipcase, that's a little extra cooler uh, that uh, stands out in my collection. And again, I only have this movie, but I I really, really like this movie. I have really a really good memory of this movie uh, because uh, when I was younger, we went to Universal Studios and they had a backdraft like um, set where you could do you know go and, and at these fires. And one of my favorite disaster movies is The Towering Inferno. So that experience was really like being in that movie, but it was really, really hot, and I didn't. Much care for the heat because I, I I tend to overheat a lot, but I really like this movie. Uh, it has Kurt Russell. It has uh, one of the Baldwings. Uh, it has Robert De Niro, Donald Sutherland, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Rebecca De Mornay. So really, really good stack uh, cast, and uh, the movie's really cool. I really, really like the movie. So of course, when I found a uh, two disc set, I was I was gonna buy it because I want to see more special features on on movies that I like. Uh, which is the same case with this one. Uh, this is also a widescreen release. A long time ago, I saw this at a flea market, but I didn't pick it up because at that point I didn't have the money to buy it. And I kicked myself because it's a movie that I've been that I wanted to get at the time. Then uh, through the years, I, I picked it up with Movie Freak Bazaar, and it was a two uh, double feature between Parent Trap One and Two. But this is the uh, older release of the Parent Trap. Uh, the nice little thick uh, two disc set this one this got two and it has a whole bunch of special features and again uh, I'm a movie collector I like collecting movies so I uh, as a collector I tend to track down different versions of movies um, because it does alter the movie experience this older release has special features that that uh, two movie set that I have doesn't, so that's worth the price of the purchase, these special features, and uh, I just like the, the, the box, it, it looks very collectible, and uh, as these older movies get re-released, the image quality might be improved, uh, but they tend to lose special features, so as if you're a collector, you know, you, you know where I'm coming from, that I like, you know, seeing special features uh, or you might think I'm a psychopath because who cares but I care <laughs> uh, picked up some horror movies that I was debating whether to let them uh, be talked by Macabro but he might do a, a review of these movies for the Halloween marathon so it's always cool to give him cannon father so uh, picked up this movie that I've never seen The Dark starring Sean Bean uh, looking forward to seeing if it's a movie that Sean Bean lives through or dies because for a while there he was notorious for dying in his movies uh, picked up Night Train with Danny Glover and uh, Lily Sobieski which I haven't seen in, a, in any movies recently I don't know what happened to her she was she was a good actress I, I liked her she was in uh, if I remember correctly in The Wicker Man she was fun in that and uh, another movie that I can't remember for the life of me, but I thought she was good, and then she disappeared. I don't know what happened to her. So when I saw her in the cover of this with Danny Glover, I was like, it, it kind of looks like the Midnight Meat Train, if anyone knows about that one. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I've never seen this movie. Uh, picked up this one, The Haunting of... Molly Hartley. I think I've heard that this is garbage, but I want to see what kind of garbage because it might be unwatchable bad or it might be laugh my ass out of it bad. So I'll have to see this. 
Uh, picked this one up because I thought it was about vampires with a tie like blood and chocolate. You would think it's vampires, but no, it's about werewolves. And, uh, yeah. It kind of looks like Twilight, and I don't like that now. <laughs> and I picked up the remake of When a Stranger Calls. Uh, I still want to track down the original one. Um, even though the best part of the original one is the opening segment, and then kind of not that cool. And then this one is, it's, the whole movie's not that cool, but <laughs> I finally tracked down, I, I came down and decided to buy a copy of this, because I've always seen this movie, and I've never gotten around to buying it, because I don't have the original one, and I was like, I might as well buy it now, because then, uh, if I don't buy it now, when I do get the original one, and want to get the remake, I'm not going to find it, because that's how sometimes my life, my luck works. So, yeah, but it's not good. <laughs> It's I, I, at least I didn't think it was uh, the original one had the balls to imply that the killer killed the kids, and then this one they saved the kids, so completely neutered the impact of the original one right there. But it is what it is. So yeah, that was the uh, DVD haul for these two weeks. Uh, like always, I like to recommend the movies that I enjoyed the most, and out of the movies that I have seen, I'm gonna recommend Balls of Fury. It's not the best comedy, but it's enjoyable uh, because of Christopher Walken. And Backdraft. If you haven't seen Backdraft, highly recommend it. Unless you are you have this horrible fear of fires, then don't watch it because it's going to freak you out. But I, I like it. I thought it was pretty cool. And it has a really ugh, impaling scene uh, with Robert De Niro. So, yeah, but I love that movie. So, yeah. That's the DVD haul for these two weeks. Uh, looking forward to seeing what else I can add the following two weeks that we're going to have uh, with Movie Freak. But hard things are, uh, he's still doing his online sale, but he's uh, finally been able to put his stand uh, back. And uh, yeah, like flipping through there and see what I can get extra. But I haven't been able to buy anything extra, just what I buy online. But until I do see you all again... Uh, thanks so much for watching, for commenting, for your thumbs up, and uh, please stay safe, please take care in these crazy times, and I'll see you soon.